39,000 years ago, a budding human being suffered a random genetic mutation. When an egg cell started to form an embryo, there was a DNA replication error. One gene mutated into another. This accident brought irreversible consequences for humanity. 40 millennia later, this gene would be known as what remains. A gene only remains and spreads if its owner is able to eliminate competitors. What remains is a cumulative genetic mutation. Its human replicators evolved into antisocial individuals with psychopathic traits clustered into small, covert communities. Until the gene manifested itself phenotypically. It was then that the great disaster began. Once it ended, technology was lost, violence increased, and the natural selection process accelerated. It was the dawn of a new dark age. But someone did survive. The colonies on the moon and Mars and the space stations. Exiled mankind survived, recovering Earth technology through risky landings. Until a visionary, Den Aoyama, settled with her followers at a subterranean base on Santa Catalina Island. It contains the Techno Womb, where genetically enhanced humans are born. These are the soldiers of HOPE. The reconquest of Earth is their one and only goal. HOPE scientists have developed a device that creates an Einstein Rosen bridge. It is capable of sending a dropship with a small crew to a specific moment of the past. Operation Throwback will be a succession of time missions to get genetic samples from the WR replicators. The final aim is to know our enemy and find a way to destroy it. From the Senate, we wish you success in your visit to HOPE base. You will soon be arriving on the island of Santa Catalina, in what was once the state of California. You are the first person outside the Brotherhood who has had access to the facilities since Denny Oyama and her followers settled there 20 years ago. With the recent passing of Mizeo Oyama and the subsequent elevation of Bodo Canterbury to the rank of Magister, internal changes are taking place. Everything indicates that the military side is going to prevail over science. HOPE has become the first human colony to succeed on Old Earth. It is critical that it become a tool under our control in the medium term. Please be at your most diplomatic and conciliatory in order to achieve this goal. Welcome to HOPE, Console. I am the Prometheus AI. I have been programmed to guide you in the techno womb. In this sacred place, the new millets of our brotherhood are genetically designed and gestated. work areas. These facilities are designed to care for the fetus during its growth, as well as for its immediate care once it leaves the techno womb. In your case, console, you only need to pay attention to the data terminal. Go ahead, feel the power to create a new life. We wanted to create perfect humans, but 
we ended up losing an entire generation because their cell regeneration required too much energy. Discarded for their lack of emotional control in psychotic episodes. Your creators will be pleased with your recovery, Hope 279. Everything indicated that you are not going to survive your birth. My name is Prometheus, the AI that will guide you through your first steps outside the techno womb. It is the artificial uterus in which you have spent the last four years, growing by an accelerated process and learning by simulation. You must be hungry and thirsty, but before continuing, Please read the messages on your terminal. You have a message from Bodo Canabroy, the first brother, our magister. Then, when you leave, you will enter a lounge containing food and drink. You may be interested to know that the apples there are from Mars. Surprised? Most of the memories you are loaded with during your long gestation are about Earth and its golden age. Relatively few concern the colonization of Mars. But today Earth is not ours, and terraforming Mars has proven difficult. Eating and drinking will reduce the hunger and thirst bars in the lower right corner of your curb's display. When you have finished in the lounge, go down the hall through the green door.
one of the drawbacks of living in a physical body. But I can read from your turbot that you are tired. Why do you not admit it? It is the Bioware monocle implanted during your birth. It fits perfectly around your eye and is hardwired to your brain. We call it curbit. Its main body is graphene, which is 200 times harder than steel. Graphene is also not affected by humidity or high temperatures. It allows you to access information both about yourself and the world around you. It also connects you to communication channels like the one I'm using right now. Of course, what you see now are only basic facts. You can get a comprehensive view of your state and advancement from your bio card. Hello. You must be Hope 279. You took a long time to wake up, so I'm glad you're okay. Prometheus estimated your chances at 25%. I would not mention too often that you have a name. It will bring you problems. Look, in fact, I think because of it, you were born at a disadvantage. From the little I know, we are all born with the number code and must earn a name later. My advice is to follow the tradition, but do what you want. I guess I would also like to remember the name I had in my memories. Well, my fake memories. At times, I think all of this is a dream, but then I wake up in these facilities again. But if you think about it, we were already preparing for this at the end of our stay in the techno womb. Well, how may I help you? Hope 280? I have spoken with him a couple of times, and he seems... nice. You mean, he's nice to me just because I'm good-looking? I don't want to keep talking about this. Do you need something else, or are we done? Go ahead. What do you want to talk about? I asked myself the same thing, and Prometheus was very kind to explain it to me. You should talk more with the AI. 
We are not yet full brothers, since we're in training. It's for this reason that we wear a light-colored uniform and the prospect label. It all depends on whether we are discarded or not. The good news is that we're designed to be soldiers, so only 1% don't pass training. Afterwards, we will join a team and become rookies. Which doesn't sound particularly good, either. What do you want to talk about? You should listen to Prometheus more. This is the Kerbit, a kind of computer that gives you information about yourself and the world around you, as well as serving as a communicator. Before you go, there is something that I need from you. Look, in this place, we are constantly being observed. Not only is it a site for basic training, but it's also an examination. Yes, I guess so. But I suppose they're necessary measures after what happened with the second generation. Most of the Prometheus entries on this are classified, but the information I was able to obtain spoke about a lost generation. All of them ended up discarded. It was after that debacle that they began to implement fake memories in the Techno Womb. Now we are less perfect, but more human, and more emotionally stable, which I'm pleased with. I would like to know more, but our level of access is very low. I think I may have been assigned a special test. In my room, there's a locker that contains something important, but I have to enter a code. I've searched everywhere, but have found nothing. Thank you. I'll continue searching as well. I just hope that those that are watching are not playing some kind of joke on me. Well, see you around. Good luck. Pactum Serva. Have you been luckier than me? Did you find a code? Pactum Serva. Get up. Good morning. Hope 279. Today, 
We are going to measure your simulated firearms training. Have breakfast, then use the door that's to the right when you exit to enter the shooting range. Well done. We have confirmed that the shooting skills you acquired in the quick time are adequate. In the Techno Womb, you were given virtual training through an accelerated program called the Quick Time. Now you need to move into the next room, where we will test your physical condition, your capacity for reaction, and your mental stress levels. They are watching you. So do your best. The leaders of the Brotherhood. They will not hesitate to discard you if you prove to be a failure. You are an experiment, after all. The test consists of a CQC, close quarters combat. You must enter the AOE and eliminate an enemy VIP in the last room. I detect an increase in your catecholamines. Please be reassured, at this point, everything still happens in a secure environment. Your enemies are holograms and the damage level is restricted. It is time to pass on to the green safe area and start the test. Good luck! Updated. Congratulations, mission accomplished. We are finished for today. You can rest now. Tomorrow, you leave this place. Important information will be given to you according to the times and standards set by the Brotherhood. You will be going up to the surface. A transport will take you to the sect array where you will start the next stage of training as a member of HOPE. It is recommended that you finish all your affairs here and then go rest. Talk them serve up. Hope 279, wake up. Plans have changed. You are not going to leave the base via the traditional route. 
please check your terminal for details. As soon as possible, you must go to the elevator at the back of the shooting range. Your fellow members left an hour ago, but were given orders to wait for you in the service tunnel. In their greatest moments, the brightest minds of old America turned the island of Santa Catalina into a sanctuary. But right now is not the time to entertain ourselves with history. In the tunnels, you will find an abandoned camp where an old diary was recovered. Since then, it has been revered and protected. By tradition, you should stop a few minutes and learn from the past. I guess this is goodbye, Hope 279. 
The moment you pass that gate, I will no longer be able to read you. Exterior gate open. Alpha 3, this is TOC. Welcome to the team. Your companions are across from Rome. They have reported a low density of hostile fauna in the area. Be advised.
Don't move. I don't plan to kill you. Unless you do something stupid, of course. Secular. Codename Hope79 of the second generation. At least that's what it was before I was discarded. You can call me Secutor. Do you believe everything they've told you? The second generation was the best. It had all possible genetic enhancers. We were... We are practically demigods. Straight to the point. Our mission should not be to save mankind, but to let it finish killing itself off while we create a new species for genus Homo that born of the techno-womb. Why share the world with humans? Their ancestors destroyed the Earth, and even then they did not change. You have to admit a species that destroys its own habitat is an automatic evolutionary dead end in the long term. Their age has passed. Now is our time. The age of demigods. Shut up and listen, puppy. We were better, but we failed. Our plan was to take the HOPE facilities, but we were betrayed and ambushed. The majority of the second generation perished, but a few managed to escape. Since then, we've wandered the Earth. I was waiting for some HOPE soldier stupid enough to travel alone and fall into my trap. You fit the bill perfectly. Actually, I couldn't believe my luck when they sent not one prospect, but three. I did well to bring survivors. Sure, didn't you hear me? Holding out survivors is the easiest way to get HOPE to make mistakes. I want to send a message, and I've chosen you as messenger. Now shut up and listen. When you wake up, you will find a carbon paper for Bodo Canterbury. I want you to give it to him. It's time for them to start being afraid. I'm returning the favor of Skinner's betrayal. Oh, and by the way, thank you for your weapons. I'll now use them for the second part of my message. Killing your companions!